about to roll up at the second Spanish contender, fighting for the last place in the semi-final. The pioneering El Pirata de Tapas, or the Pirate in London's hip Notting Hill, is managed by Roberto, and the kitchen run by Madrid boy Omar. It's only been open for two years already. It's got rave reviews. This young Spanish chef, he's only 26, and this guy really does have talent. Hechef Omar has a hugely impressive CV. Having worked for the celebrated molecular gastronome Baron Adrian of El Bule in Spain, voted one of the best restaurants in the world. It was a tremendous experience for me that has influenced the rest of my cooking and the rest of my career. This young pretender has an ultra-modern approach to tapas and uses molecular cooking techniques to take Spanish cuisine into the 21st century with huge style. In his mission to stand out, Omar bravely embraces daring ingredients, like his confit coxcomb, the crest that comes from the head of the cockerel, which most British butchers throw away. They actually give it to us for free really? all the time. Because no one's ordering them. No. I don't think there's many chefs anywhere in the country that has free ingredients that can be clever enough to charge money for it. Smart ass. <laughs> this competition has just gone up a notch on the back of the Antonio Banderas of cooking. Little bastard. Far too good looking to be a chef. Vamos, 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 vamos. He has passion, guts, and a huge pair of cojones. Service! I'm joined now by a Spanish chef, Omar Aliboy, who works in London, and he loves pies and puds as much as me. Hola, Omar. Hola. Now, all these cakes and puddings and pies and tarts look absolutely incredible. But I know you're about to get involved with a serious dish. Yes. Now, I don't want to take any more of your time up. Please, take Let's over the kitchen. In. I'm going to sit down here. If you need me to do absolutely anything, let I, me know. I may ask. There's quite a lot of work. And uh, this is an ensaimada mallorquina. Maybe a bit, bit like an estrudel. OK. First up, we've got a man on a mission to bring a tapas revolution to the UK. It's Omar Ali Boy. Hey! Hey! Because what is so special about this recipe, it's the, the technique. Cooking a la plancha is not cooking on the pan, it's cooking on the top of the salt. Cool. Now, is this, is this considered a tapas dish? Because obviously that's what you're known for. Definitely. And uh, tapas, as I said, is about sharing. And that's the beauty of, of, of this dish, that is about dipping all from the same plate and uh, between friends or, uh, you know, with the family. Don't burn OK, okay. okay. We're looking at the paella. We're sorry about our fellow countrymen and women there, but we're... We're trying to have a word with them. This is Omar, he's got a book out. What's your book called? Tapas Revolution. OK, and we've got a somewhat of a paella revolution going on here in the studio. This show has never smelt so good. No, never. Well, Hopefully. which is difficult because Chris Evans is here. No, yeah, exactly. No, you're absolutely right. <laughs> I understand. I it's almost yeah. the opposite of risotto when you're making it because it's about leaving it alone, isn't it? Yes, now it's resting, uh, you know, and it will be good for the next five minutes. And we say in Spain, you wait for the paella in the table, the paella will never wait for you. Good thing. <laughs> that's why we understand. I, that's why I'm going to take this to my hotel today. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go well with the massage. Yeah, okay. For six years, I've really enjoyed being a chef in London, but for me, there's nothing better than returning home to Madrid. Every time I come back and I get into the door, I, I feel something quite special. The best fish, the best meat, the best vegetables, everything comes to Madrid. Just to order the most amazing razor plants. Look at these tomatoes. They are so fresh and the aroma is incredible. A warm welcome to the show. Uh, cooking live this morning, two great chefs. Making his debut on Sunday Kitchen, the world-renowned Spanish chef, Omar Aliboy. Uh, Omar, <laughs> you're, you're um, going to kick it all off. What are you going to cook for us? We're going to cook a red mallet with a Spanish uh, stir-fried with plenty of green vegetables and olives. And as a side dish, a nice warm salad with baby jam and a sweet and sour bacon vinaigrette. You're going to do all that live? Yes, yeah, it'll be tight. Well, well, <laughs> you've got to go, but it sounds delicious and it, it smells pretty good. Um, and so, tell me about you as a as a cook. What's what? Obviously, you're into tapas, but tell us about your love of food. 
I've, I've started cooking since I was a little boy, when I was literally three, four years old, cooking with my mom, helping her in the kitchen, and uh, sort of it developed into a real passion and then a career. So that's kind of my path. I've had the pleasure of working with really top chefs across my life as well. Yeah. So I have that experience too. But uh, I'm into now comfort and more rustic and traditional dishes, to be honest. That's right. how I move on. And you, the thing about food being approachable is your thing, isn't it? You've just got a new book out, is that right? Yes, Spanish Made Simple. And these are two recipes that you can find. That This is the style of, of food that I like doing. And that, uh, as you can see, you know, you'll see hopefully by the end that it's pretty simple. Piece on top, just to finish off. But that is a very quick meal that I generally do at home. And it's sort of the style of recipes that, that you can find in the book. That's amazing. I mean, that is in, in under 10 minutes. Yeah. You want to, okay, well, tell us. Luckily, I know just the person. My old buddy, Omar Alaboy, is the owner of a UK chain of tapas restaurants. Hi there, buddy. Oh, okay. But has spent most of his life in Madrid. I'm going to make my interpretation of an empanada. Now, I've got Omar here, and I hope he likes it. The flavors that I've chosen have been influenced from what I've seen, actually, over the last few days. The pastry is loosely based on the technique of the empanadas we saw at Povi, Povo. El Pozo's Pasteleria. That place. <laughs> now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a pastry. It's like a rough puff pastry. Let me cut a, a little bite. Oh, look Flaky. at that crumble. We get the great, great flake in there. Pack full of flavor. I'm gonna need this recipe. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this is slow cooked lamb. Yeah, breast lamb, the Spanish style, called Cordero al Chilindron. And pronounceable. <laughs> that might sound nice when you say it. Yeah, so I'm going to just season this uh, shoulder of lamb with a little bit of black pepper. You know, somebody was asking me before what differentiates this stew from sort of what you will do. Mm. You know, what's the okay. difference? Yeah. And uh, you, you cook it uh, quite differently, I must say, uh, lamb stews. Uh, and what we use as well a lot is peppers. You don't stew with peppers very much. You always use more potatoes, root carrots, vegetables, root yeah. vegetables. In Spain, we use a lot of peppers, which gives a completely distinctive yeah. flavor. All right, over here. And this will deglaze all those brown bits mm -hmm. in the bottom. We're gonna put all the meat back into the pan. And now we are going to Flambe, if possible. Oh, okay. No, no, Sand it's not time. going to. It's not going to <laughs> flame. Uh, and I don't have my long hair to worry about anymore <laughs> as well. But this will. This will give it a lot of and acidity. What was that? White wine. This is white wine. You know, if if we would use red wine, it'll be more of a lamb bourguignon yeah. that we are more used to. But in Spain, you know, we we use white wine for this type of stews. But really hope... nice. Good job. Good Thank job. you, Thank you Omar. Very much. Good to see you. Alaboy, they should be calling this Attaboy. Attaboy. Well done. <laughs> Attaboy. Thank you, Omar. Thank you very much indeed. Pleasure.